Hello there and welcome to Complete Games with me James and we're back with another episode of Complete Subnautica just chilling out in the cafe let's go and get ourselves some crisps from the vending machine so previously we've managed to build a, ourselves a base and today I want to expand on that a little bit so I've added a, a radio, we haven't got any radio signals come in yet, so we don't need to go back to the pod anymore. Uh, I do need to add a first aid kit and some battery chargers. Uh, in particular today, I want to get the observatory done so we can start growing some food here. And, oh, looks like we've got ourselves a message, so let's check that out. This is Altera HQ. This may be your only communications window. We can't send a rescue ship all the way out there, so Aurora, you're just going to have to meet us halfway. We've uploaded blueprints to the ship's We're computer. We're sandwich run, you in? Uh, yeah, give me a second. Black box data shows the high security terminal in the captain's quarters is still functional. Becky's leaving like in five minutes. All right, well, tell Becky I'll just take the, the regular. The regular? Yeah, she'll know what I mean. The code should Maybe be... she doesn't? Just tell her the regular, dude. Okay, The if code. I say regular, she's like, what's the regular? I have to come all the way back up here. The code should be 2679. The regular's just a ham and cheese. Okay, would you just say ham and cheese? <laughs> Quality. Well, we've got the code to the captain's quarters, but that, of course, was the legendary Neebs Gaming that did a fantastic job of covering Subnautica. So, if you didn't see their playthrough, you, you, I highly recommend checking it out. But you know, stick with me first. Stick with me before you go on to Neebs. <laughs> okay. Right. Well. I'm just out towards life pod 12. We couldn't get here before because we couldn't drop below 200 meters. So we're just gonna go and check it out. This is a new biome and I can hear a Leviathan. So there is one that patrols this area. You can just hear it in the background there. Don't like diving deep. Okay. Gonna have to go much deeper than this. Okay, so here we are, life pod 12. Let's see what they left. Passing 200 meters. Oxygen efficiency. Yeah, it's hard to dive at this depth. I don't get much time. Oh, and we got the repulsion cannon blueprints there. It's quite a fun thing to play around with. And medical officer Denby's crew log. Okay, well, we'll check that out. I can't see anything else laying around. Detecting volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise course okay. diving deeper. Right, so we're going to head away from this. I know I've got another pod to check out that dropped 300 meters down. So that was Officer Keen's pod. And I do need to go and get some seeds for the fruit trees and start growing some stuff. So I'm going to have to go back to one of the islands. So it makes sense that we head back over to Officer Keen's island. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but... I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Okay, um, interesting report from medical officer Denby there. Of course, we're going to have to figure out how to cure this disease ourselves. It doesn't appear anyone else is left to do it, but... While I was listening to that, I just noticed this stalker playing around with this piece of metal and they quite often drop one of their teeth when they pick it up and drop it. So I'm just waiting for one of those because I'm going to need a couple of stalker teeth in order to make the observatory. 
because you need enameled glass and in order to do that we need one of these teeth but it hasn't been dropping any yet usually just have to wait around and they eventually will Let's see if it does it this time it's one of the awkward ingredients to find ah there you go so I need a couple of them where did it go so they're quite small and they're not that obvious to find at first but they will eventually drop them so you've just got to just hang around and watch them oh, it's dropped another one so that's the two what we need and uh, let's head off to the floating island okay so the floating island is directly above us and this is the pod we couldn't get to before because it dropped 300 meters down but we can go there now so this was second officer Keane's pod passing 100 meters oxygen efficiency decreased okay so we got some rubies passing 200 meters we're going to need some of them and gel sacks as well um, I will start a grow bed for some gel sacks um, I'll just grab this one watch out for this tiger plant in fact I'll scan you can I get out of the way don't hit me <laughs> okay there we go we've got tiger plant scanned uh, some lithium just here grab some more rubies I can't remember what I need them for, but I know I do need them. So, and what's in here? Silver, great. We need them for wiring kits. And I guess I'll take the creature egg. I do need to upgrade my breathing stuff so I can go deeper Welcome underwater for captain. longer. Right, okay, let's go the oxygen back. Some more rubies to grab over there. Just grab a couple more. Okay. I don't know, I feel like I should grab one more. I can't, the inventory's full. I might have to drop some of the metal that I've been picking up. Have I got any room in this side here? I have, okay. Let's just shove the metal in there. I'm probably going to have to drop it anyway. Okay. Right, let's check out. Okay, we've got a data box. Oh, a high capacity tank. We absolutely needed that blueprint. But I think we need the modification station to build it. Uh, second Officer Keen's voice log. And... Officer Keen's true crew log. Okay, let's check out the crew log, I guess. I don't think there's nothing else in here. We already know what happened to Officer Keen after he left this life pod. He obviously went to dry land above us. So, let's just have a look. Oh yeah, data banks. So... Firstly, let's do the crew log. Tool crew, if you're reading this, then you followed the automatic distress signal broadcast to the lifeboard's onboard computer, contrary to my orders. I have been forced to evacuate. Your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates to the nearest landmass, and I hope to see you there. Okay. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Life pod detached. Okay, planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Captain! Okay, so as we know, the captain stayed on board, tried to save the ship. Uh, we know that Officer Keen obviously made it to the land here on the floating island, but then took a boat and was attacked by a Leviathan. We don't know what happened next. 
But I'm just going to go back to the floating island and get ourselves a few seeds so we can actually grow ourselves some food. That'll save us having to come back here, but it will be handy just having some of them lantern fruits and melon fruits. So I just need to go and get some of the seeds. Okay. Back on dry land. Okay, so I've got all of the fruits that we're going to need. And my inventory is completely full now. So we need to head back to base. I did manage to get the two stalker teeth we need. So that with some quartz and we can make the observatory. And then we can become a little bit more self-sufficient by growing some food at the base. Let's head over onto the base and we're going to do a little bit more building. I do need to build the scanner room as well. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so I've had a little think about it. I can't really come out from the back because of the red plants, but I think the best idea is to take this window out and replace it with a compartment and then we can put another multi-purpose room on the end. I am going to go back and do some more glass, but I'm finding it difficult to find the quartz. So when I do build the scanner room, it'll be much easier to find some of the bits that we need. But I'm going to need to think about putting the moon pool on the base as well. I only need to find one more of the blueprints for that, and then we can charge the seam off. So, I just need a little bit there. Okay. So, I'm thinking if I put a multi purpose room on the end here, and then we can have an observatory coming off behind it. So let's put this down. The sand shark doesn't get aggravated. I told you, you're going to have to put up with me being here. This is my home as well now. Okay. Hull integrity looks good. So yeah, I think the moon pool is going to fit just under there, just just nicely. Off to this side, we can place the observatory. Okay. Yeah, just here. In. Just titanium. Okay, let's just go and grab a little bit more titanium. It just saves having to hunt for food. I am using a bioreactor as well to power this place. At the moment I've got full power, but I am going to be draining resources and just having a little bit of fruit laying around just to be able to chuck in that bioreactor saves me having to go out and hunt for it and there we go there's the seeds as well we're going to need them okay so one more titanium should do it like i say i've got the blueprints for the scanner room so i'm probably going to build that as well today great Okay, so if we get a grow bed inside there, we'll be fine. With a specific research task in mind, observatories and other glass modules are improved for survival purposes. Well, it does have a purpose. It's going to be our garden. Right. Getting lost in my own base. Okay. This is good. You can see our friend the sand shark just outside here. Um, interior grow beds. Just get you in the middle as best as I can. Perfect. Oh, short titanium. So it'll take a little while for fruit to start growing. Uh, okay, I'm going to 
gonna have to make some more metal. Let's grab our fruit anyway. Or our seeds. Just turn all of this into titanium. So I need to search for one more moon pool fragment. And I think I'm gonna have a look at the cave beneath this base. There is a mushroom cave that I want to explore beneath us. So I think that's definitely where we're gonna explore next. Let's just shove all our seeds in here. And those things will start growing. Takes a little bit of time. But yeah, hopefully we'll go and explore these mushroom caves and then by the time we come back, we should have some more fruit and food. See the fish clip it through the base there. I've not seen that before. Okay. Um, I'm just going to put this away. Okay. Um, we could make ourselves the propulsion cannon actually before we go out. Now, it's not a great weapon, but it is very handy for being able to catch fish. It, quite, it can be quite fun to throw various objects at various creatures in the water as well. So I will create it. We need two silver and a battery. We've got to make ourselves a wiring kit. So we've got the silver. And what else does it take? Where is it? Personal tools. Uh, just need one titanium. Which we should have just over here. Okay, where are we? Tools, right at the bottom here. Propulsion cannon, okay. Works a little bit like the Half-Life cannon. Just not quite as powerful, but and I keep doing that. I keep <laughs> just gonna put the number. It's arc. Okay. So there we go. We can just pull ourselves fish over and pull them straight into our inventory now. Uh, it's not effective on the sand shark, but we could fire some stuff at him. As angry as he is though, he's not really a bother, so... I don't know. I'm just going to leave him there. <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll use some fish as target practice. <laughs> so yes, we got the propulsion cannon so I can get fish a little bit easier now. Really want the stasis rifle is the biggest weapon in the game. Really. That's the most Welcome useful aboard, tool. Captain. Okay, so this take a look in the mushroom cave so this goes below 300 meters or at least 250 I think okay so these worms are not friendly and they live inside the mushrooms and I've come in on the northeast side. So we need to try and find our way back here. Oh. So let's head, I don't know, let's head this way, I guess. Let's see what we see. The conditions in this gate oh. support a microcosm of unique, possibly predatory life forms. Detecting an artificial structure somewhere in the region. It's a very cool cave. And I think I can see something that looks artificial just down here. Okay. Well, looks like we've got an older Passing structure just meters. here. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Okay. Data log. Meters. Oxygen Environmental log. Okay. Signal location to PDA. Oh, new signal location. Okay. Integrating new PDA data. What have we unlocked? Um. 
proposed Degassi habitat. Oh, 250 meters. That's what we've unlocked. Okay, so let's follow. Let's follow that. And here it is. Okay. Oh, looks like a battery charger down there. I need that. Okay. Oh, the power cell charger. I think I only needed one more of those. Okay, great. We can charge our batteries for the Seamoth now. That looks like there's a, a crack just above us as well. We can get out that way. Um, Stacy's rifle. I think we've got the blueprints for that. But I do need some resources to build it. Definitely need to build that. Um, yeah, we don't need the Stasis rifle. Power cell charger, we've just got all of that. Um, let's scan the drooping stinger. Okay. Um, thermal prompt fragment, we haven't unlocked that. I don't know if we're going to be using it in this playthrough though. We've gone for the bioreactor. Unless we build a secondary base lower down, which I'm not sure we'll need to. Um, okay, just take that first aid while I'm here. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, another thermal plant. That should complete the blueprint for that. If I was going to use another base, I'd probably use the thermal plant to power it. Um, okay, a device, gassy voice log. Let's check that out while we're having a hunt around the base. Son, there is always a pecking order. And in our world, money makes a hierarchy. I pay Maida a fraction of what I pay you, and you a fraction of what I pay me. If money makes the hierarchy, why is Marguerite making the decision? We need her. We let her think what she likes, so long as she does what she's told. <laughs> what if she doesn't? For enough money, she will. 30 seconds. People always do. Okay, so interesting. So there were three survivors on the Dugasi. Paul, his father and Maida. And we've got some more PDAs as well. We picked up the water filtration machine there as well, which is great. We're going to be able to produce water now at the base. Let's have a look what else we can find. Can't see any PDAs here. Oh, oh no, not that way on the stinger. Here again. Okay, what's this? We've already got it, whatever it was. An abandoned PDA. Deeper. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. Can't see anything else to scan. Just check up here. Nothing there. Oh, another PDA. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. Oh dear. Can't get out. Uh, I think I might drown here. <laughs> oh, that was a bit silly. Oh, three. No, we're not going to make it. Oh. James, what are you like? Oh, okay, I made it back here with the sea glide. Fortunately, above us, there's just a crack that we can get through. Uh, so it wasn't that hard to find it. Not with the seam off sat here and the coordinates. Right, let's just check the other voice logs out from the Degasi. Um, okay, so the next one would be deeper. Let's see what they're talking about here. We're already 200 meters below sea level. You want to go deeper? Look around us, Chief. Water leaking through the hull, water outside the hatch. We're drowning real slow. If rescue arrives, whatever shot us down, it's going to do it again and again until it's shut off. You see an off switch around here, Chief? Why would it any more likely be half a kilometer down? Your kid found something on the scanner. There's something down there. Something that shouldn't be. <laughs> You're mad! I'm going all the same. And I have an idea you two are gonna follow. But if you do, be mindful. 
Your authority stopped at sea level. Okay, so Marguerite led the crew of the Degasi even deeper, it would appear. And that's all we know so far. Alright, well let's get back to base. Okay, so I've just added a few more bits onto the base. I've put the scan room on, but we can't really use it yet because I can't upload what the scan room is telling us to RC Glide. Well, not yet, not without the upgrade. And I've just got an outdoor grow bed. We're going to need a couple of them creep vine clusters because I need Welcome to make some lubricant and two titanium ingots in order to make the moon pool. If we can get the moon pool built, that means we can get our sea glide inside and it, it's a better way of charging it. It's a really cool addition to the base. Right. Okay, so that's the titanium ingots. Two of those. Right, let's just come outside. Um, oh, I added the power cell charger on as well. So, this is pretty much the last big upgrade. We are going to have to put our containment facility on somewhere. Just inside here should work nicely. Um, well, it's in two lead. I've got the lead in that side. Okay. We can change this front entrance as well. Now we got a moon pool. Uh, there's one. Surely I've got more. Yeah, we got more. Okay. Let's hope the base holds up integrity wise. So it's down to 9.8. So, yep, we're good. And yeah, I'm quite happy with how that sits on there. I can get the sea glide or the sea morph in quite easy. Right. We need to find the blueprints for the modification station. Fantastic. Oh. Well, Let's test it out. Let's After dock our sea glide. Contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet <laughs> or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. Okay, so we're going to need to get the upgrade stations on the base as well. Got anything in the storage? We haven't. So eventually we need to add the modification stations on and we can do some more adjustments in here but this is going to charge the prawn suit and the seam off. That's just a good place to store it for now. There's not much more we can do with the moon pool. Okay so um, down here we of course got our garden that's all growing and uh, we need to show you this scanner room. So at the moment it's scanning for quartz and you can see it shows it all over the map but it's not really any good until I can upload this image onto my sea glide so that we can find the resources that we want to hunt for and that's when I'll add a lot more glass to the base. And okay yeah we built the water filtration machine which gives us both salt and the highest grade of water, a plus 50 on the water from that so that's a really good machine. It does take quite a lot of power to use it but it's certainly worth having. So quite a lot of base expanding been done today. I also built the medical kit fabricator over here as well so it was pretty much the last thing we needed to build that was from the life pod that we didn't have over here. And I think next week we can certainly build the cyclops. I've got all of the blueprints for it so we just have to get the materials together for that and perhaps we can think about dropping even deeper than we have been but until next time i'm james from complete games and i'll see you